Hello my friend. Today we are going to submit all of the information in here into the server. So we want to save all of the data in here into the MongoDB. That's what we are going to do. To do that, we have this step of how to do. So first we need to make the video collection for MongoDB, which is the table in SQL terminology. So if we see in here that there is a MongoDB video collection, if you see in here views and right Writers and title and description and privacy and file paths and so on. There are information about the video. If we type something in here for title and description, everything will be inside this one. That's why we need to make the collection for the video first. And then we need to make the unsummit function. So if we see here, yeah, we didn't make this unsubmit function when we click this button we need to trigger that unsubmit function that's why we need to make that unsubmit function after that we will just submit all information into the server and we will save them in mongodb so if we see this the video collections we need the writers the who is going to write this post and then title for the post and description and privacy like privacy for the public and file path and category and views and duration and thumbnail so first we are going to make this video collection so we go to our text editor in here so if we come down so if we see in here there is a models folder so if we see the user, it is already made it for the user data. So there is a name and email and password. So first I'm going to make the file named BDO with the capital for the V and made it. And then I'm going to copy everything in here and then paste it. And then I will just delete all the parts we don't actually need. Delete it. We also don't need this part. And we need to change this name into video schema. And this one will be video schema. And this one video. And this one video and video. So we will export this video into other file. So we need to change this one into this one. First, uh, we will say the this uh, writer field. So say writer and this type will be schema and type object ID. But we didn't have a schema yet. So we need to bring the schema first from the mongoose schema so the reason why i say type like this schema types object id by doing like this we can bring the all of the users data so if we know this object ids we can bring all of the users data so we will say rep user so by going in users collection, we got all the data to this writer. So by using the schema types objective ID. So for the title field, title type will be string and the max length will be just the 50. And it doesn't have to be unique. And then this description, uh, no need to have min length and for privacy just string and file pass uh, privacy needs to be the number because the, i will give the just zero or one a zero for the privacy and one for the public that's why it has to be this number and the file pass will be string and no default values and category you can just uh, yeah, type like this the, without this type key category will be the string and we also need the view the type will be number because the it and will be zero because it starts from the zero and then duration uh, type will be string and then some nail type will be string and then lastly we need to type this one timestamp True. So it will automatically generate the created at and updated at value. 
So this is all we needed to do for the video collection. So I'm going to save this one. And now what we need to do is to make unsubmit function. So we go to upload video page in here. So we will make this function. So now in here, we will get the event. So we will make sure that we keep the form from attempting to submit itself by calling event prevent default and now we need to do axios request post api and video and upload video so we need to put variable variables and then we make the const variables and so which kind of variable do we need to send to the server so there are a lot because inside the database there are a lot of fields we need to fill in so writer title description privacy and pass or category there are so many things we need to send so we need to put writer title this privacy file and category and duration and some nail wherever we will get the writers the id so if we come back to our application and i'm going to turn on the redux extension so in here so if you see this redux extensions we already get user data's id so we can get this one from here so to do that first we need to bring the Redux by using the Redux hook use selector from React Redux and by using this value const user use selector and state state and user so if you see here this one is a state you can see this one state so state and user and user data and state we bring the this state this state and then state and user and this user and then we got this user so we put this user in here and user data user data and then id so this is the writer who is writing this video post and then the title is the title come from the this state and then description will be just this description and privacy we also got this one from the state and file path and we got from the state again and categories and categories and duration will be just duration and thumbnail from the thumbnail lastly so we can put this variable inside a http post request and we will do and then respond we we got the response back from the back end and then if so if this response and data and success then we will do something and else we will say fail to upload video so we need to make this route first so we go to video routes in the server and in here we are going to make one more router our location we need to pass so our pass is upload video i got it and then i paste it in here i just delete it so now we will get all of the variables that we sent from the client this variable we got it in here and then we put that data inside the mongodb to do that first we need to get the video and video model so we need to first get the video video collection instance video new video in here request and body so we put all of the variables inside the mongodb video collection and then we will save it video and save if it has some errors we will get the error callback and then video so if we have error return status 400 and json success force and error and if we were successful risk status 
200 and JSON and success true. So this is all for just saving or the value inside the video collection. So we go back to our client and if we success like alert video uploaded successfully. Uh, after uploading this one, we want to change this page into just a landing page. So to do that, we will say props and history and push. But we don't have props right now because we didn't prop in here yet. So by typing props history push, we can automatically go change our page into any other page we put in here. I'm going to save it and then I go to load the video page again and then I will just turn on the console panel to see what is going on and then first I'm going to upload the video and I got the thumbnail back and hello for title and nice to meet you and I will make it public and then the auto and vehicle for the categories I'm going to click the submit and you can see video uploaded successfully and okay we came to this landing page so successfully we uploaded if we go back to the video upload page again so now even though we didn't type anything we can just click the submit button so we want to prevent that from happening so to do that first in here so we only want to allow the login user to click the submit button so to do that user user data so i got it from the redux again user user data is us so that means if we see this redux extension again so user user data is us is now we are logged in that's why it is true but if we didn't log in you be just a force so that's why if we have a user data but that users us is a force we just need to return alert please log in first and then if the user didn't type any other field in here uh, we just prevent that person from clicking this one so to do that if title empty or the description is empty or category empty or file path empty duration empty so any of the value is empty i'm um, sorry this one is the category with the capital and this one too so any of the value in here is empty we just return alert please first fill or the fill so now we did all the process for this upload video page so thank you for watching this video and see you in our next section Thank you.